All right, I'm here at Osprey Park in Sultan. It's kind of a short hike, but the winter makes it kind of tough. Either you're dealing with ice or mud um, on the trails or road closures. And secondly, I have a new hiking buddy I'll show you as we go through and he can't handle the long mileage yet. So we're kind of keeping it short, keeping it close and we're extending our distance as we go. And as the weather improves, we should get some more long adventures in. Starts out just past this covered basketball court and there's a little playground there too where you park. We picked a foggy day for this adventure, but it isn't raining and the sun's trying to shine through. We parked by a basketball court and we are kind of leaving like a small, a slightly industrial area as we head into the woods and toward the Sultan River. This little side trail into the circle of cedar trees. This is a nice cedar grove. Beautiful big trees, a lot of sword ferns growing here. You can hear chickadees and Stellar's jays in the background. We're doing this trail in the beginning of February. We did try it back in, I wanna say November or December, but it was pouring down rain and the puppy was much younger. So we were forced to turn around early. I might throw in some footage from that attempt as well. Um, we, I know we saw a salmon that had washed ashore in the Sultan River. Sultan River. This park was named after Chief Soltead, known as John Sultan. These bridges are really nice. This is a well-maintained trail. So that small channel we crossed earlier on the bridge, I was wondering if it was part of the Sultan River, and it actually is. Um, you can see right here, this Sultan River, it hits this bank and just uh, channels right through, kind of at a right angle. Seems unusual. Came down here for a closer look. The main part of the Sultan River flowing by this way. And then it just whirls around this corner, hangs a left. Well, here's another channel coming off the Sultan River. This actually might be the one we crossed earlier rather than that narrower one. It's hard to tell from here. It's beautiful. When I came in from the parking lot, I went across the bridge and came to basically a T in the trail where you go along the Sultan River and I took a right and it kind of winds around and I end up at this wetland. I just saw a blue heron and a kingfisher. <music> So I went back to that T at the Sultan River and made a left. There's a lot of points where you can get right down to the river and view it. Going to the left, they seem a little more um, easily accessible. Where it really just opens up. Wow. This is what we were meant to do with our days. I 
I was reading that five salmon historically spawn in the Salton River. And I just remember the coho and the steelhead, so I'll have to put a list. just got back to the car now the sun is out it was a really beautiful walk we had it completely to ourselves for the first I don't know quite a while and then um, you know people came out but I would say it's moderately popular um, Sultan's a small town I don't know how many people actually drive to Sultan to go to this park so I think it's really underrated we did um, let's see we did the 1.99 miles um, total and we didn't go on every trail the website said that it's has two miles of trails so I would say probably a little over two miles of trail and tons of bridges and channels of the river and wildlife um, birding I would think birding would be great here I think children would really enjoy this it's pretty easily um, traversed it's a little muddy and slippery today but it's a really good well-maintained trail um, I'll definitely be back here we spent just over an hour. It wouldn't have taken that long if I was really hustling. But if you're going to enjoy the scenery, and especially if you have dogs that want to make a lot of pit stops, you know, estimate about an hour, hour and a half to just poke around and really enjoy this park.